If you're looking for an off-white that doesn't have the yellow undertones, the blue undertones, or the gray undertones, then perhaps today's paint color review of Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace just might be the right paint color for your home. However, there's some key details that you need to know about Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace. Please don't be persuaded by how popular this paint color is online or in magazines. I help thousands of clients every year, and I can personally tell you, Chantelet Lace does not work in every home, and the number one mistake that most people make is not by comparing Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace with their fixed elements and being mindful with their lighting and so on and so forth. And most importantly, what you need to know about Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace is what's the difference between Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace and all these other off-whites. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna talk about the undertone of Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace. And then I'm gonna compare it with some other off-whites so that you can see for yourself what makes Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace different. And then I'm gonna share with you some off-whites that are very close with Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace and talk about just the small differences and perhaps one of those off-whites just might be the right paint color for your home. And then I'm gonna share with you just a few valuable tips that you should know about Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace. I want you to get this right. So the first step that you should always do when selecting the right paint color for your home is to ask yourself, what is the undertone of this paint color? So when it comes to Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace, I can tell you that Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace does not have an undertone, and I'm going to prove it to you. So watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore White Diamond, which is considered a cool off white with blue white undertones watch this when you compare white diamond with benjamin moore chantelet lace you're going to instantly see the blue white undertones in white diamond and you're going to notice how chantelet lace just looks like a true white it's light it's crisp and it's clean now watch what happens when i compare this with sharon williams alabaster which is considered a warm off white with yellow undertones watch this when you compare alabaster with chantelet lace you're going to notice the yellow undertones in alabaster and in this case this is where you're going to truly see the true white undertones of benjamin moore chantelet lace there's no blue there's no gray there's no yellow undertones it's clean it's crisp and it's bright so now you know that benjamin moore chantelet lace is considered a true off white which means it's not cool it's not warm it sits right in the middle but I want you to get a better perspective about Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace. So again, I'm gonna compare it with some other cool and warm off whites so that you can see it for yourself why this is considered a true off white. So watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Pure White, not Sharon Williams Pure White, don't be confused. Two totally different paint colors. Benjamin Moore Pure White is considered a cool off white and it's got blue white undertones watch this when you compare benjamin moore pure white with benjamin moore chantelet lace you're going to instantly see the blue off-white undertones in pure white but again notice how stark how light and how bright benjamin moore chantelet lace is in comparison to pure white as pure white looks muted in comparison to Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace. So watch what happens when I compare this with Sharon Williams Extra White, which is considered a cool off-white. It has blue off-white undertones, and this may surprise many of you because a lot of people think Extra White is just a true white, and that is not true. So watch this. When you compare Extra White by Sharon Williams with Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace, you're going to notice the slight blue off-white undertones and Extra White it leans on the cool side but again notice how Benjamin Moore Chantelet lace is just a true off-white it's clean it's light and it's bright with no undertones now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore simply white which is considered a warm off-white with a little bit of a yellow undertone watch this when you compare simply white with Benjamin Moore Chantelet lace you're going to instantly see 
the yellow undertones is simply white, but again, you're gonna notice how Benjamin Moore Chantelet lace is a bright off-white, it's a true off-white, there's no blue, there's no gray, and there's definitely no yellow undertones. Now, there's another thing that you need to know about Benjamin Moore Chantelet lace. It's not the only true off-white out there. There's actually three other true off-whites that you should know about. So I'm gonna compare these three other true off-whites and just show you briefly what makes them slightly different in comparison to Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Super White, which is considered a true off-white, but it's just a little bit different than Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace, so watch this. When you compare Super White with Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace, it's gonna be hard to notice the difference, but I'm gonna explain it to you. Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace is just a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, a little bit more stark in comparison to Super White. Super White is just a little bit softer than Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Benjamin Moore Oxford White, which is considered a true off-white. Watch this. When you compare Benjamin Moore Oxford White with Chantelet Lace, Oxford White is just a little bit softer. It's not as stark as Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace. And by the way, Oxford White is just a touch softer than Benjamin Moore Super White. Now watch what happens when I compare this with Sherwin-Williams High Reflective White, which is considered a true white. Watch this. When you compare High Reflective White with Chantelet Lace, you're gonna notice how High Reflective White is just a little bit starker, a little bit brighter, in comparison to Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace, as Chantelet Lace is just a touch lighter, a touch softer in comparison to high reflective white. If you find Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace just a little bit too bright in your space, now you know that you can try Benjamin Moore Super White or Benjamin Moore Oxford White as they're just a touch softer but if you want something that's a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter than Chantelet Lace, now you know that you can use Sherwin-Williams High Reflective White. But when it comes to finding the perfect kitchen cabinet paint color or main interior wall paint color, this is where it gets complicated. because so you've got to be mindful of the type of fixed elements that you have in your home. The lighting also is gonna play a key role on how these off-whites could look like in your home. And if you're tired of trying sample after sample and you wanna get it right and you don't wanna make a costly mistake, highly recommend you go to my website. I can help you with both interior or exterior paint colors. You're gonna get a chance to book a live appointment to speak with me, and I'm gonna to talk to you about what paint colors will or will not work in your space. And you're gonna have the confidence knowing that it doesn't matter which paint colors you select for your home, you know it's gonna pair correctly with what you have in your home. And please read the reviews. I have over 550 reviews. See what clients have to say. I would love to help you. Next, I'm gonna share with you just a few valuable tips that you should know about Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace. Tip number one, hidden undertones. For those of you that are thinking about painting your main interior walls with Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace, you've got to be mindful of the fixed elements that you have in your home. For example, if you have pink floor tiles and you paint your walls Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace, don't be surprised to see pink on your walls because Chantelet Lace is going to reflect the undertones, the pink undertones of those floor tiles. And the same thing goes for what you have outside of your windows. For those of you that have a lot of trees, don't be surprised to see green on your wall. It's not coming from the paint, it's coming from the trees outside. It's one of the biggest mistakes a lot of people make is not being mindful on the type of undertones that they have in their home and what they have outside of their windows. I don't want you to make that mistake. Tip number two, kitchen cabinet paint colors. This is an area of the home where most people struggle on selecting the right paint color that's gonna pair with their fixed elements. So if you're thinking about painting your kitchen cabinets, Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace, the first thing you need to do is you gotta get a sample of Benjamin Moore Chantelet Lace and compare it with your countertops. If you have off-white countertops, gray countertops, blue countertops, 
green countertops or black kitchen countertops, then chances are Benjamin Moore Chantelet lace is going to pair pretty well. However, you've got to be mindful of the other fixed elements that you have in your kitchen and the type of lighting that you do have. And for those of you that have the earthier kitchen countertops, such as creams or beiges, it's not going to be a good match. It's going to be too stark. It's going to be too white. And also it's going to make those countertops look old and outdated. I want you to get this right. So please, Get a paint sample and compare it with what you do have in your kitchen. If you found this video helpful, please put a like. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. And I highly recommend you to subscribe to this channel if you want to get valuable information about everything that you need to know about interior paint colors or exterior. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.